Continuing to field questions for you, Samilia. I have a student asking how many questions per day he should be doing in QBank, and he says his step two is end of July. I know many of you are studying for step one. I know many of you are going to have your exams earlier, later, etc. So I will address the general question of how many questions per day should you do in UWorld? When should you start focusing on the NBME exams uh, more specifically? How should you integrate my free high yield PDFs while you're going through your QBank study? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the clip. So how many questions per day should you be doing in QBank? It's never cookie cutter for every student. There's going to be variability. Uh, depending on how far out one is from his or her exam, strengths, weaknesses, uh, baseline knowledge, etc. 80 per day is a good target. Okay, 80 per day and untimed tutor random is solid for many students. If your foundation is super fucking weak, you literally know jack fucking shit, 40, we could get you closer to 40. Uh, no excuses though, never under 40 per day when you're going through QBank. Uh, and if you're really, you know, struggling to hit the 80 quota, maybe 60. But 80 is what we want to shoot for. I've made many prior clips talking about going through QBank. If you want more in-depth uh, chat about it, just go through the exam guidance playlist here on the YouTube. I've talked about how if you're ADHDing the fuck out going through QBank, it's hard to stay focused. You can do blocks of 10. Okay, Untimed tutor random mode is ideal. Uh, blocks of 10 is a very solid way to make inroads through the QBank. And as far as integrating the PDFs, you can do that in the evenings. Okay, I mean, I want you getting through uh, your quota of questions in a given day. I don't want you waking up and doing my PDFs immediately. I, I mean, I'm flattered, okay? And there there can be a time and place for integrating just isolated PDF reading. That's, that's fine. But for most students, most of the time, we need you getting through questions, okay? So my PDFs can be integrated in the evenings. And I've made other clips talking about uh, high-yield arrows as a priority for step one. Many students, uh, especially on Reddit, they tend to say that they like the neuroanatomy, immuno, biochem PDFs. Those are more; those are my more lengthy style PDFs. Okay, uh, my other PDFs are more concise. Um, so you can integrate those PDFs in the evenings as you're going through uh, QBank, and during dedicated, you can do them after you're focusing on the NBME exams, which is a segue as far as I said I was going to mention uh, when you should start the NBMEs for step one. Uh, definitely within the final month, this is a lengthy discussion, okay? A lengthy discussion. But in general, without meeting a student over Skype, making broad umbrella type statements, the final month, that's when you need to really be hammering out the 11 NBMEs 20 through 30, okay? And really memorizing those questions. Made lots of clips on this stuff. And you're gonna be doing my PDFs in the evening. For 2CK, you're gonna be going through the Clinical Mastery Series, the NBME subject specific forms, followed by NBMEs six through 11, okay? So it's a bit redundant for me to constantly say it's a long fucking discussion. I made many clips on this stuff, but it's the truth, okay? What am I gonna do? Make a 49 minute clip right here, talking about every little detail of prep. But you should know that uh, 80 per day is a good target, untimed tutor, random for QBank. Do my PDFs in the evenings. And then after you finish QBank, for most students, you're going to segue into uh, the NBME content. And for step one, it's 20 through 30. And for 2CK, the CMS forms and NBME 6 through 11. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.